So here we have a SIM 908 GSM module and this module is very beautifully designed and I have seen a lot of in the market but they lack the design beauty and they make it very difficult in order to uh, connect to the computers and give the SMS or call to the cell phone. Right so let me just introduce you how this uh, kit is designed and then I would going to show you how to give the SMS or give the call or send the SMS using the SIM 900 HSM module. So what you see here are the couple of pins here like a ground then TX RX and VCC these are the four pins could be used when you want this sim 900 a module to connect to the Arduino okay and on the other side of this uh, module you see there is a standard RS232 connector where you can connect DB9 RS232 or DB9 connector to connect to the computer okay so you have a two ways either you use the spins okay tx rx vcc and ground or you can use this uh, rs232 standard connector then we have a sim slot here where i have connected right now airtel uh, 4g sim card which is a very popular uh, network provider in india here we have uh, an antenna for gsm to connect to the network and one more thing that you may notice is that there are three leds here okay the first led is a power led the second one is status and the third one is a network so this leds could help you understand whether your um, gsm module is connected to network or not now when it comes to when it comes to connecting this uh, gsm module to uh, the computer then we have to have a uh, quite a few components and one thing that we must have is something like this so this is rs232 to usb converter okay or you can say usb to rs232 converter okay it's like db9 connector or something like that so one end will going to connect to the gsm module and other end will going to connect to the computer using usb cable okay so let me just show you how it connects so say for example this is how if i connect if i put my gsm module like this or i rather can keep it like this okay and then we have this connector and i would going to place this connector like this okay this is how it fits in properly okay you see it's beautifully placed and if you don't have this connector you can either use this pins as well tx rx vcc and ground here but i'm not recommending that as as far as you are fresh new beginner to this gsm stuff okay then you might need to take one usb cable and take the type b uh, part of the usb and connect to the db9 connector okay and finally i want you to have this kind of um, good quality adapter power adapter and if you look at this my adapter okay it's something like 12 volt and 1 ampere i rather recommend you to use something that gives you enough power like a 2 ampere or something this is still be uh, less power but that's okay that's fine i can use this um, connector uh, i can use this power adapter and then connect this to the module okay using this power adapter and i would give it i, I would connect this to the power socket Just power. okay and you see now this gsm module is powered up and you see the power led lights up there is a status led and there is a network led now when this led uh, slowly blinks that means it's not connected to network and slowly you will see this led will start blinking pretty pretty quickly and that time you will see like it's you you just confirm like it's connected to the network okay let's give it a couple of seconds and now i think it's quite a bit fast right it's very often blinking it's not taking so long it's like kind of predictable now we can go to computer okay and open up the serial port and um, write 80 commands and uh, um, see if we can able to use this gsm module right so 
I can put my phone here so you can also watch if I can give you a call or something like that. So when we come and so when we connect this USB cable from our uh, DP9 connector to our computer, the first thing is we have to open up the device manager to make sure whether our USB is detected. And uh, you will see here in the device manager, COM port, and we have this uh, COM6 where our UART bridge, that means this connector RS232, USB RS232 connector is, is, is connected to. And now we are sure it's a COM6. Then I would going to open a PuTTY. We need one serial terminal software and we will use PuTTY. I'm not a huge fan of PuTTY, but PuTTY works pretty well. So I would going to go with the PuTTY. And then we must select the serial here. And because we know the COM port is six, I will select the COM six. And by default, we can keep the baud rate 9600. And then I would going to click on open. Okay, so once it opens up, we can now write an AD command. So if I type AD and hit enter, you see it gives me OK. Now, one more thing that you want to, um, uh, you can confirm it the way like there is a reset button on your GSM module. So if you press that reset button, then it will throw some kind of value right so some hexadecimal numbers here and that also confirms that your JSM module is connected to your COM port right let me just type 80 command and hit enter and it returns me okay that means this GSM module is working fine now if you want to know like which operator network operator you are using so you just have to type 80 plus C O P S and the question mark and it enter and you see I'm using Airtel which is India's biggest uh, you know telecom network operator or telecom provider or whatever you can say the next command is probably is to give a call to the um, to the phone and I would going to use a command ADD and then press the number Okay, and then colon in the end of the number and then hit enter and that would ring the bell to your phone. Okay, so I don't know. It takes a little bit of time. Let's see if it works. Okay, you see now the, the phone is ringing uh, next to the GSM module and uh, then you can just type ADH command to halt the call. If it doesn't work, okay, let me just close the call. Okay, it's a lot of messages, but that's fine. Okay, so it's not responding. Okay, that's cool. I can press once reset button and that would reset my... Oh, I can't find the reset button here. Okay, here's the reset button. So let me press the reset button and see, okay, no answer, you see, it tell me nobody's answering, right? That's okay. So the next command is to, now what if I give call to the number, right, uh, this um, GSM. So let me open up my phone and give the call from here. And this is a number, right? Let me give the call. Okay, I expect now something to show off on my party terminal. Nothing comes up. Okay. I don't know what's happening, but let me just try to run 80 commands and let me give call now. And I think this should work this time. Okay, you see, I got a call. Perfect. It Tell me the ring is ringing and this is number from where I'm giving a call. It's my number, right? You see earlier I gave the call to the same number. And now if you want to receive the call, you just type ADA command and hit enter. ADA, hit enter. Okay, it says okay, so. 
okay it says okay and now it stop it's just receive the call i can cut the call from my phone it's very difficult to show you at the same time i mean running a command and then recording and everything together is kind of difficult okay now let's uh let's say if, if i want to read all the messages i would type a command ad plus cmgl equals to all all okay and hit enter and you see i have so many commands here right okay that's how it is i can read now messages so say for example if i just want to read only message number two then i would say 80 plus c m g r is equals to one or two second message right oh my god i got an error 80 plus c m g r equals to three okay you see number three messages message is read i think the first message i deleted that's why i didn't run the first one but that's fine now let's say if i want to send the sms from my gsm to my phone gsm module sim 900 to my phone then i would have to put my uh, this gsm module into the sms mode and for that we have to type a command 80 plus cmgf equals to one okay it returns okay that means now the gsm module is in the sms mode and then i would have to type a command ad plus cmgs equals to number next okay Okay, now I can type a message. Welcome to binaryupdates.com. Okay, and then hit enter. Then to finish this uh, message, you have to press hold the control and press Z. It should work. Okay, it works. It takes, I think, one or two seconds, but that's fine. And you see, uh -huh, I have received the SMS, welcome to binaryupdates.com. Okay. So, you know now how to send the message, right? So, this is how we will going to use the AD commands and use this GSM module to connect to the uh, telephone or give the SMS or uh, give the call or something like that in the next lesson maybe i would going to use an arduino and send the sms and give the call using arduino code okay rather this was just a little test i wanted to make because i just have bought it right now and i just wanted to give a try and test so i hope you will find this video educational and entertaining we'll see us into the next lesson thank you very much